Art everyone. Oh boy, <laughs> what a difference a year makes. Huh? Well, it's almost been a year ago um, since the whole drama featuring Zaid, Zaid, Magenta, slash Misanthropony, whatever name he wants to go uh, by these days, um, in regard to what he did with um, the whole Twitter sock puppet account thing, Cartoon She, etc, etc. But that was, that, of course, was a year ago. And from what I understand from certain sources, as well as himself, I guess I could say, um, that he is uh, doing his best to try and better himself and has learned from the experience and, you know, good for him. That is, you know, a, a very good thing to try and, uh, you know, learn from the experience, know not to do it again, to, uh, yeah, just to learn from it and um, hopefully it shouldn't happen again. Um one thing that um, I've mentioned in those videos in the past was, that's to a lot of people, is I think that the issue was that um, he was having trouble accepting people's opinions. Like, that they weren't, that they were going to be different. That some people's opinions are going to be the same as his, but then there are going to be uh, some people's opinions which are going to be different from his. Uh, either slightly different or completely and utterly different um, to uh, whatever opinion he has. Um, for example, uh, recently he had been attacked on Twitter by an individual of whom I am actually not bothering going to name or whatever. Let's just say I watched a recent uh, stream by Loyal Convoy. And, uh, yeah, the particular individual um, in question, um, to me, just just sounded like a complete and utter stoner. And, yeah, um, she was... All, uh, she was uh, Basically, people were poking fun at her because she was in league with a child predator. She knew about it and chose not to do anything about it in this server that she was running for goodness knows how long. Um, but recently, said um, associate of child predator has decided that she was going to disrespect uh, Zaid Pony. Zaid Pony. I'm just going to use that term just to avoid confusion. Um, in regard to his opinions over this. Yep, Star Wars: The Last Jedi. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, some people will, will, will probably claim that, you know, the Rise of Skywalker is far worse. Um, but mind you, I think overall the new trilogy of films is pretty much dis um, divisive um, uh, for lots of Star Wars fans. And that, it's easy to see why, to be quite honest. I'm sort of seeing uh, why, uh, you know, some fans would be against it, um, especially because of stuff that happens in the films and... Um, it's, yeah, it's just basically stuff like that. Um, but um, uh, but uh, Zai Pony hasn't really gotten to um, a big massive thing for the Rise of Skywalker uh, just yet. Um, but obviously he did do extensive videos on The Last Jedi. Anyway, uh, this person I mentioned on Twitter has decided to completely... Um, not appreciate or respect um, his opinions in regard to that film. Um, so much so that it gone to the point of being, you know, constantly being harassed. And that's where um, Lyle Convoy had to come in and had to do that stream. But uh, basically, um, uh, the video... Uh, the, this particular video, I'm just going to say, you know, it cuts both ways. If... Z Zai Pony is going to, you know, respect the opinions of others, then others will also need to learn to respect his opinions. I mean, for, for example, I respect the fact that he doesn't like the film. I mean, he, he constantly goes on, uh, uh, you know, the, the fact that, you know, he absolutely loathes it. <laughs> I don't know, probably, I don't know, maybe he overdid it a little, I've got no idea, but... He doesn't have to like the film. That's absolutely fine. That is not the main issue here. He is free to like or dislike whatever he wants. That is fine. That is his opinion and that is what he's entitled to. The issue, of course, uh, or at least this time round, is that somebody was dissing him for his opinion. And like I said, it cuts both ways. In order for someone to respect someone's opinion then they have to uh, respect yours so of course it's uh, you need to have it 
um, go both ways because otherwise it's utterly ridiculous, you know, or it's, it's also not fair. Why would uh, one person only respect your opinions and, you know, not mine or um, like people can only respect my opinions and they can't make up um, stuff uh, themselves. No, that's that's not how the world works. There's all, it, you know, it doesn't have to be a full on conflict <laughs> like Star Wars. No, um, it doesn't have to be a full on conflict or whatever. You know, people's opinions can be different and people can respect them for that. Um, and that's the thing. It's how you approach, how you respect them. You know, it, it, the, the best thing to do is, um, you know, you know, thinking, oh, I really love this film. But then someone can come along and say, I don't really care about this film. And I'll be OK, then fine. That's, you know, that's your opinion. You're um, um, entitled to it. In fact, I mean, it's like, say, um, for example, for me personally is um, obviously freaking love Neon Genesis Evangelion. <laughs> but I know many people just don't get Ava and they say, I don't really care about the franchise, don't really care about the movies, this, that and the other. In which case, that's fine. I understand. It's not uh, everyone's taste. That opinion I can respect. So, but there you go. That is, that is the thing here. If people were to respect uh, people's opinions, then um, there's no problem. You just respect their opinion and you move on. You know, you go on to a different topic. You go on to uh, something like if you're like, if, like two friends may have different opinions on something, which case if they don't agree on that, they can go off and um, discuss a different topic or they uh, choose to uh, move on. Um, and definitely in the case of the individual on Twitter, you know, th the advice was solid. You know, you don't have to, you know, keep reading his opinion. You know, you can mute him, block him, blah, 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 you know, this, that and the other. Or, <laughs> or delete your own Twitter account if you had enough. Um, you know, sound advice. But, you know, some people just don't heed the advice. They just uh, they just never do. But... Um, yeah, you don't go and harass people. Certainly not. Um, yeah, it's just something you don't do. And in and, and, and this, and this case, believe it or not, um, Zay Pony is the victim. <laughs> yeah, it was only a year ago he did something bad. Now he's the victim in um, something that happened recently. It's... Wild world, eh? But, um, but no, it just goes to show, you know, if you're willing to change, um, then people will ultimately forgive you, which is a good thing. That is, you know, a, a very good thing, especially since considering he's on the spectrum as well. So that, that is good though. That is a positive thing. I will say that if, if he's really genuine and has changed and has, and has begun to respect people's opinions that is awesome. But it also cuts both ways. People will have to respect his opinions the same way that he's beginning to learn to respect the opinions of others. It cuts both ways. Because otherwise, it's just not fair, as I just mentioned. I mean, that's, that's the thing. You don't have to agree. Just respect other people. Respect their opinions, and then they won't, you know... You know, hopefully become a bully. If they do become a bully, then of course, uh, especially online, you know, rep report them, you know, yeah, or, or block them. You know, <laughs> just you know, just ignore them, block them. I have to do that, uh, you know, constantly. Lots of people have to do that constantly. Um, you know, if they're just, you know, if, pe if a person becomes a nuisance or whatever, you know, if they're, if they're not, you know, getting the message saying, look, I have my opinions, I have yours. You don't have to agree with them, but let's just agree to disagree and move on. If they can't do that, then they're not worth um, the time talking to. Just ignore them, block them, whatever. They're just they're just not worth your time. And uh, that personally is my whole uh, viewpoint on the whole situation. Respect the opinions of others, or you know, just forget about it and go away. Thanks for watching, guys, and do take care. Bye.